hello and welcome everyone in this video we will learn about some basics on the different kinds of banking which we have at the business side for example business banking versus commercial banking versus corporate banking now these are all related to non retail customer banking right in the commercial sector or you call it at as uh, other than the retail side we have these many three segregation of the business small scale medium scale and large scale basis on this it has been segregated and terminalized as business banking or commercial banking or the corporate banking now this all three works in different manner basis on the revenue which they are making it right let me explain it to you with an examples to understand what are these three different bankings into the payments industry as well and what is its importance in terms of the features or the models which are offered to its customers right so let's start with this business banking first of all the business banking commercial banking and the corporate banking are the terms used to describe banking services but they differ in their scope and target customers if you see the business banking the target customers are small and medium sized businesses smes services offered are focuses on the financial needs of the small businesses such as business checking and savings account small loans lines of credit merchant services payroll services and more the business banking is typically designed for companies with less complex financial needs and lower revenue levels compared to the larger firms example for this business banking is a local bakery seeking a loan for new equipment or a retail store managing daily cash flow so generally in usa it is called as a business which has a revenue not more than 2 to 3 million or less than 2 to 3 million are the one called as or are categorized in terms of the business banking so where they do not need the complex accounting like the virtual accounting the multiple accounts pool accounts and multiple other features they need some basic accounts where they can get their deposits they can get some loans and the revenue which they are making they deposit it in terms of the accounts which they have it so to summarize the business banking are for the smes that is small medium sized businesses and which do not require the complex financial needs and lower revenues levels compared to the large firms let's move to the next one that is the commercial banking the generally commercial banking in usa is somewhere above 2 to 3 million and up to 100 million right in between if it is there the revenue then the businesses are categorized in terms of the commercial banking now this totally vary from country to country is this basic statistic that we are giving basis on the us the commercial banking the target customers are larger larger small business and mid size enterprises now the sme businesses were there in your business banking as well but here the commercial banking is considered the smes which has the larger small businesses and mid size enterprises services offered are the commercial banking service businesses that are larger than typical small business but the smaller than larger corporations so it is just in between this business banking and then the corporate banking it includes services like loans lines of credit cash management foreign exchange and treasury services it often bridges the gap between the small business and large corporations example a regional manufacturing company looking to expand its operations or finance new projects
let's learn about the corporate banking the corporate banking target customers are the large corporations and multinational businesses so generally in us if you see the revenue which has more than 100 million are considered as the uh, are considered as the large corporations the services offered are the corporate banking focuses on the financial needs of large companies with complex banking requirements service includes large scale loans syndicated loans cash and treasury management corporate finance mergers and acquisitions advisory trade finance and risk management example a multinational corporation seeking financing for an international acquisition or restructuring its capital structure so the basic summary for all this business banking commercial banking and the corporate banking is business banking is for small businesses with relatively simple needs commercial banking caters to mid sized or medium sized enterprises with more complex needs corporate banking serves large corporations with highly specialized and sophisticated financial requirements so basis on the financial requirements and the revenue which they are making and the size of employee and the revenue these all three type of the banking are categorized now when we say banking banking is all the services which a bank provides it and these are the various services which it provides likewise we have retail banking as well which provides the retail services to the normal customers like you me and other people <coughs> all right then uh, thanks for watching this video and if you want to learn more on the payments domain or the banking domain then do reach out to us to our email id that is swiftpaymentguru@gmail.com and we will get back to you with the necessary details and the syllabus which we offer for the different training for the different domains within the banking sector right do like share and subscribe this video and i'll get back to you next time thank you all for watching the video